Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with a modification on our super cool straws. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you have not seen the multicolor straw tutorial, I will make sure there is a link up above. It is fun, fast, and teaches you how to make straws with stripes. Now, one of my viewers, Steve, said, hey, can you make it do the spiral like you see on one of those barbershop poles? I've got a strategy, so let me show you how to do it. First, if you've made the first project, I always do a duplicate so I don't break it. Here is where I did my duplicate. Let's hit tinker this, and I'll show you how I did it. Once again, if you don't have these straws, the tutorial will be above. This was my original. Just for fun, I did hit T for transparent. That gave it a pretty cool look. This is where we learned how to add stripes. I'm going to ungroup this quickly just to show you what we did. We have got a straw template or mold. When we take this and cut out our gradient, bingo, straw with stripe. If we ungroup this, you will see that it is a red, a white, and a red. So over here, let me show you how we built the stripes. First, same cutout. That part stays the same. Second, we have got a gradient block and we have got the tiny part that I used to make it look like the spiral. Let me show you what that is. So a few quick things. I'm going to turn my grid back on so that way we can see the grid. That makes life a little bit easier so we can tell which direction we're looking. I'm also going to really quickly take you back to my website, hlmodtech.com. I want you to see the shape generator catalog. When you click this link, you get to see all of the shapes that are available in Tinkercad. There are two pages, so you can check them all out. If you click on these three dots, you can make a copy that will be saved to your Google Drive, so you'll always have it. Now, friends, if you look through here, nothing on the first set of pages that is a spiral. But if you switch over here, check it out. There are wicked cool screw threads, and that's what I use to make the spiral. So real quickly, I'm going to hide this. I need to click on this part, and I need to ungroup it. I'm going to take this piece, which is a 17 by 17 block. That's what we used for everything. And I'm going to hide it, and I'm going to ungroup these. When we ungroup them, you can see the max height is down here, and this shows us the parameters. Now let me show you how to find the screw threads. Simply type screw up in the search, and bingo, they will come in. And initially, they look like that. Now what we do is simply come over here and adjust the numbers. Now I played with these a little bit. I liked 3, 5, 1, 1. I moved the turns to 14.4. This was just a fun guess. Sides per turn, just a fun guess. And then I hit them to the maximum height. That's how I made this row. I'm going to real quickly delete these so you can see how I got them to the right height for the final project. So friends, I did the move like this. Control D, Control up. And if you hold control up, you can see it moving up until it's about the right spot. Right now, I'm going to zoom in and watch this. If you do down, you can find an exact spot where they overlap. If you need to switch to a 0.1 nudge to get it perfect, you can. But you can see that is pretty darn groovy. And then, friends, simply repeat the process. I'm going to go back to size 1, control D, control up. Get it close to that spot and then just zoom in to see how good you did. See how I'm a little bit off. So I'm going to go back to point one and do a couple control downs until they line up. I am happy with that. I'm going to take these three and do control G. I'm going to delete my temporary one. Let's do show all to bring back the box. And then friends, to make sure this hole was the correct height, I just double clicked and I stretched the red one a little higher and clicked outside so that way I was sure it would cut it off. Remember if we move this over you can see the straw stopped right there. So these two pieces need to be grouped. Now this is special. You need to make sure they're aligned so I'm going to do L for align and I want to choose middle and middle. Click somewhere else, click the purple one first. We always choose the small shape, shift then the big shape for making the groups you can do control g or click that it should turn purple and then we turn on multicolor so we've got the purple and the white combo now grab the two of them choose a line choose middle and middle and when you hit group 
Friends, after just a moment, you will have a fantastic spiral straw. How cool is that? Alrighty, friends, so once again, I want to send a huge shout out to Steve. Thanks so much for the suggestion. That is so fun. I hope you all had a ton of fun learning it. And I also hope that you guys keep track of that shape catalog because it is a fantastic place to look for parts as you're making all your fun and fantastic Tinkercad creations. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day